Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove or how to replace front seat on BMW E46. This is guys the 3 series BMW from year 1998 to year 2006. Stay with us, we will show you guys how to remove or how to replace front seat, what you need to know and everything from start to finish. We will guys have more than 200 videos on E46. Our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment below. So let's start on it now. All the tools and parts guys that we use in our videos will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So please check it out. Now the front, okay, front left seat and front right seat, the procedure is practically the same for removing and replacing it. So let us explain now what needs to be done now. You will need to disconnect your car battery at one point, but not yet. And now, right here guys, okay, we need to scoot the seat, okay. Watch, it needs to go all the way to the back first, all the way to the back. And towards the front of the seat, right here, we have two caps, guys. Okay, one cap right here that we need to pull out with a screwdriver. Okay, it came out, and one more, okay, on the other side, perfect. Underneath, once you remove the caps, okay, you have two nuts, okay, one on this side, one on the other. With 16 millimeter socket, guys, we're going to get those loose. Okay, and that will be tight. Perfect, this one came loose. Working on the second one now. Great. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead, get them off all the way. And we'll show you guys what else you need to do. Now, move your seat all the way towards the front. Okay, all the way towards the front. And now let me show you right here now, guys. Okay, you have. Two more bolts that we need to remove towards the back of the vehicle, of the of the seat. Okay, removing this one now. Then we have one more, but we will not be able to use an extension. We'll just have to use probably the socket only because I don't think we'll be able to reach all the way there with the extension. Okay, just removing this one, it got stuck a little bit. Usually the one that's the most inconvenient bolt will be the one that will not go by hand. I've noticed that in the past. Okay, this one is out. Now, we need to scoot, okay, the seat to the back a little bit. Okay, and what do we need to do guys now? We will need to disconnect our car battery. Why? Okay, because now guys, okay, uh, you have to disconnect the seat wiring harness and it's part of the airbag system. So we need to go ahead, disconnect the car battery and we'll continue. So before we uh, disconnect the car battery guys, we actually have one more hidden bolt that we need to remove and we'll show you guys where that one is located. Okay, not very many people will know that. Uh, now. This is on the convertible. I think the sedan will, and the coupe will not have this one, but I cannot confirm for sure. I used to, we used to own a sedan and a coupe, but it's been a long time since we messed with the seat on one of them. But you can see that this one has a hidden bolt, and I think on the convertible it is uh, due to the fact that uh, the, the seat belt is attached to the seat itself and not to the frame of the vehicle. That's why, guys, I think. Okay, he has one more ball there to secure the seats better. Uh, 
Okay, definitely looks like it's getting loose. Now I can lift it up. Okay, perfect. This is the bolt. Now we're going to screw it to the back and we'll go ahead and disconnect the car battery. Okay, we open our trunk and right here, guys, is our car battery. What we need to do now, it's very important how we disconnect it. This is your car battery. You have one cover here that you need to remove to get to it. Usually it has only two clips. And you need to disconnect the negative cable first. Okay, negative cable first and then the positive cable. You have to be extremely careful not to cause any damage. Okay, perfect. Just like that. Now, we will let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes so the airbag system can discharge and we'll continue. So it's been about 30 minutes, guys. Okay. Now we're going to tilt the seat to the back. This is the wiring harness right here that we're going to disconnect now. Okay, you can see this is your wiring harness. And how we do that? Okay, right here, that black thing, you need to slide it out like that. And Okay, let me just Okay, let me just disconnect this one. I'll need extra help with the camera. Okay, perfect. Pull it out. You can see everything is out. And now guys, we are ready to go ahead and pull the seat out of the vehicle. So it's very heavy seat, super heavy seat. So grab it guys and pull it out like that. This thing is extremely heavy, believe me. And that's what it looks like without it. So that's how you guys do it. Installing it is in reverse order we took it apart. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.